All right, guys. So we are going to be going over some of our read alouds from last year and giving you our opinions about them. Now, I could have given you my opinion about them, but since these books have been read by all of us, I thought it would be fun to have the little ones join me as well. Hey, girly, my name is Wendy, and I am a homeschooling mom of five little ones. And on this channel, I talk about a little homeschooling, a little biblical womanhood, and obviously being peacefully present in your home with all your children. Yeah. <laughs> and snuggles. Now, doing a video with five kids is going to go amazing and without a hitch. So, here we go. What? This is the first book that we are going to be talking about is Walk the World's Rim by Betty Baker. Now, this was one of the first books that we read for our homeschooling this year. Can you, are you I don't see know if you can see the cover. We're going to start off with my oldest. Uh, what did you, how did you feel about this book? You want my honest opinion? Yes. My nice opinion. Or my review, my like truth. Yeah, me too. Right, Same just, thing. how did you feel about the book? Um, the book was incredibly long. It was long. It was long. It described. The I read it. I, I should say I read this book. Okay. Mm -hmm. You read it out loud. I read it out loud. Yeah. And then multiple times you had us read it. Yeah, because... I had them take turns at times to read too. Where's me, mom? They had very good descriptive yeah, words. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. And. It was really entertaining for those who like long, detailed books. Not so good for little kids. And my final thing that I, that I just didn't like about it was that it described things that didn't need to be described. Like, if they just cut out all the stuff that didn't need to be described, it would have been a much shorter book. And But I did love all the characters and how it was historically accurate majority of the time and yeah i just really like this book but i don't remember them describing things too much um but i did find it to be kind of sad <laughs> but it was good it was good it was this book talks about a 14 a 14 year old and he leaves his homeland to follow um esteban to um to the cabeza de vaca because my spanish is on point in the 16th century exp expedition through um through the southwest and the story talks about native american culture and talks about what happened when the spaniards took over and different things like that and it's it's bittersweet i would say uh, all right, before we move on, this is a collaboration hosted by my friend Katie over at Life in the Mundane. Katie has gotten all of us homeschooling mamas coming together to talk about our read alouds for this year. So definitely check out the playlist in the description and catch all the other read aloud suggestions so that you guys can get your book list started. So, Samaya, go ahead. Can you tell us how you felt about it? I... Did you like it? Yes. You did? Mm -hmm. What was your favorite part about it? You're not in the camera, so mm -hmm. oh. When they were like walking, like walking the long journey and how they explained all the different villages and all the different people. All the different Native American villages. And how you could pronounce some of the Spanish. I had a hard time pronouncing, that. so that was really funny to them. All right, so next yes. one is Pedro's journal yes, and I am gonna have her start my eight-year-old start so what did you how did you feel about Pedro's journal uh, Pedro's journal talks about a boy named Pedro that is on he's inside of the Santa Maria yes he is a boy aboard the Santa Maria so it talks about Pedro and he is on on the Santa Maria with Christopher Columbus, and it talks about their experience through their traveling um, from uh, Spain to America, and what they were expecting, and 
um, it takes on the form of different dates and he's journaling the expedition. I like it. I snuck into my room so I could just come read. Come. I snuck into my room so I could just read it. And it's really funny, but it does have a really inappropriate part. It has inappropriate parts? Whoa. Like what? Like when they were talking about the naked ladies. Yeah, they did talk about naked ladies in there too. It's not uh, nudity, so but... Yeah, like, they were they were Native Americans. Um, yeah. So he, she actually took this book once we were done reading it and read it uh, all over again on her own. Um, this is one of her favorites for mm -hmm. you. Okay. The next one Wait, we're going to talk about... It, oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> Go ahead. How did you feel about Pedro's journey? Um... Definitely number three on the sad list. I really didn't like how they treated the Native Americans mm -hmm. in the book. Like, it made me feel sad on the inside. Also, how they treated Pedro and all of the people. Like, they were human beings, in a sense. Okay. Yeah. Other than that, I really like the sailing parts. Like, yeah. I, that's why I also like some of these books, because they have a lot of sailing mm -hmm. in it. And I just like the stories, I guess. And Petra okay. was pretty Number funny. Number five on okay. funny. But this is probably one of the more books that I thought was a lot more serious than the other ones. Okay, so next one is Johnny Tremaine. I'm going to start on this one. Can I now. <laughs> I'm going to start. I'm going to start. Okay. I'm going to cut them off at some point. So Johnny Tremaine. Okay, I'm gonna read the back to you guys. Johnny Tremaine is a 14 year old and an apprentice to a silversmith. He is gifted and clever and lords his talent over the other apprentices until tragedy strikes. A crucible of molten silver breaks and the silver spills onto Johnny's right hand. The hand is so badly burned, it's useless. And now so is Johnny. Since he is no longer able to become a silversmith, Johnny's life takes a new path, one that will bring him in touch with Paul Revere, John Hancock, Samuel Adams, and other Boston Patriots, and with all the exciting currents that, le that will lead to the Boston Tea Party and the Battle of Lexington. Johnny's dream of being a silversmith may be dead, but he has discovered a new dream that will make him a part of American history. All right, I'm gonna have my son start to say what he, how he felt about Johnny Tremaine. Johnny Tremaine was an amazing book. It's like really amazing. Um, it's not sad at all, and it's just a really good read for teenagers. I would say it's a lot more entertaining mm -hmm. and has a bunch of like action and stuff, and then. Like, Johnny's a jerk in the beginning. I can admit that. But it's a really, really good book. All right, Samaya, so what did you think about it? Get in the camera, baby. I don't know if you're in here. But what did you think about it? There's some disgusting parts. Really? Like what? when he gets his hand burned and you have to peel it off and he smells like it. Yeah. Really weird. That was weird. And I got scared. You got scared? Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> but it's a pretty good book. But it's a pretty good book? It was really sad, though. You found it sad? Sean said it wasn't sad at all. What did you find sad about it? Uh, first of all, how mean he was to all the people around him. And funny. how his hand got burned. That was kind of sad, yeah. And then how he, when how hit, like, his, his, uh, his crush. Shh. <laughs> Shush it. You don't want to ruin the story. We're not going to ruin the story. What? You're not going to ruin the story. Sorry. <laughs> Woo! That was a big spoiler. <laughs> now everybody knows little something sister about the girl. Oh, okay, okay. His I, crush's little sister always well, got a fever. That's yeah, all. Yeah, but there was another part that okay. it's counted. So. Okay, but you can't tell spoilers. All right, so next one. So we're waiting till the end, and when we get to the end, we'll each tell you which one was our favorite book. Okay. Aren't you gonna let Shane review Next one. Them? You're gonna let him tell him. No, what? he's not gonna review. The well, so he wasn't born back then. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Next one is The Witch of Blackbird Pond. Y'all, this one was a listen to on an audiobook. I did not read this one out loud, and um, 
I, we're gonna give a quick synopsis. I found this one to be sad. <laughs> Saddest one. <laughs> we read a lot of sad books this year. I found this one to be um, kind of sad. Um, but I also felt I felt as if this book took a good made us take a good look at our Christianity and whether or not it is legalistic in its views or whether or not it is um, true to what the Bible says and true to what Christ says and um, how you can like take it too far or take it to the wrong aspect of things um, and how legalism can really um, be very unchrist like so I, that that's the book so all right so samaya what did you think about the witch of black Bird pond funny Man. funny what was funny about the book was funny. kate kit what was funny about her she's always mm. talking she's funny she wants to get married at a very young age she wants to get married at a very young age you thought that was funny Yes, and she already got married. <laughs> All right. And say it. All right. So, <laughs> Sean, skipping. So, um, Sean, hi, what did you think about it? Saddest book. You thought it was sad? Not sad. Yeah, there's a lot of. Except for the witch. Was... Shh. All right, so we have some. It's literally called The Witch of Black. I, I know. Oh. I thought you were going to give spoilers. All right. So sad, funny teaching about um, legalism. So, you know, there's all the details that you need about the book. Blah. Now, we're jumping on to Carry On Mr. Bowditch. Yes! So that is our last one that we're going to review in this video. Um, Carry On Mr. Bowditch is... The longest? The saddest book I've ever read in my what? entire life. What? <laughs> no. The Witch of Blackbird Pond. It's was literally sad. the saddest book I've ever read in my entire Actually, life. Actually, no, this is. I the mean, saddest. that book goes up and down and up and down. Like, you want to go into a Great Depression? It's this it's book. It's was, shh. No. I mean, just about everybody in this man's life die. Yeah. Like, it's just everybody die. His <laughs> mom, his grandma. Don't, don't say who died. Uh, just, just everybody die. Okay? Yeah, Go die. into this book with a box of tissues and just and hey, a yeah. pillow. You're going to need a, a pillow. Deaths. This is probably the book with the and most deaths. And a bottle deaths. of whipped cream. <laughs> a bottle of whipped cream, so, some tissues, and... A, a pillow to hug. Like this book was and so so was sad. That. And food mommy. Not the saddest. But they loved it. Um, they loved this book. So what did you love about it, Sean? I loved his ingenuity and how smart he was. Sometimes it um he was really smart. He was really smart. And it just how smart he is. He's an amazing person. He loves to read books like I do. Yeah, that's true. He and loves to love to read books. But, and and he's, he's a math, smart. like he's a math genius, right? Yeah. yeah. I don't like math. Okay, what did you love about it? I liked all the women. All the women? All the women died. <laughs> <laughs> he liked, she liked all the women. And I'm the smart women. The smart women. And the house and the structures. The baby talks so they can hear you. Oh, the house, the structures, the wives. Mm -hmm. Mommy. Yes. I like all the girls and all the boys and the women. You like all the girls and all the boys and the women? All right. And the house. Okay. All right. Okay, turn. And that. So we're going to each grab our favorite books, hold them up. Drum roll, please. <laughs> One, two, three, go. So she these, took a carry on with the book, so I went with my second favorite. It was sad, but it was really good. It was really good. It was not nice train. I love it. Even though we listened it on YouTube. Love the yeah, action. we did listen to it on YouTube. So that's it? another um, pro tip. If they don't have it in audiobook, try YouTube, yep. and you might find somebody that's reading it out loud. My favorite, second favorite actually, you took my first favorite. All right. 
thank you so much for watching and until love next time don't forget to subscribe bye Hit that we love you